Hello. I'm Tim the Tech Guy. For Tri-Tech Monitors, the Cardiac Monitoring Specialists. Today we are going to learn how to discharge an IT20 telemetry patient from the MFM CMS Telemetry Central Station. This is the IT20 telemetry transmitter. Because of its small design, it can be easily misplaced in a hectic hospital environment. To help our customers, Tri-Tech Monitors, has developed these best practices, that if followed will ensure that no telemetry transmitters are lost. Step 1. Removal from patient. Remove the telemetry transmitter from the patient. Now, take this transmitter back, to where the MFM CMS central station is located for processing. Important. Do not turn the transmitter off at this point. The transmitter must be left on during the discharge process. In order for all data to be transferred to the database and erased from the transmitter. Step 2. Discharging the patient. To discharge a patient from the MFM CMS central station, click on the patient's name or in this general area. You will see this window appear. Then find and click on the discharge patient command line. You will now see a box in the middle of the screen asking if you want to save the patient data to the database. Now, click on yes. The patient will disappear from the screen. The patient is now discharged from the central station. Step 3. Turning the transmitter off. The IT20 telemetry transmitter has a battery saving feature that turns off the display after 15 seconds. We must first turn on the display before we can actually power off the transmitter. If the transmitter screen is off like this one, press the top button down for one second, then let go. Count to yourself 1001, then release the button. You should see the display come to life. After you see a working display, Press the top button again and hold down for 4 seconds. Count to yourself, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, then release the button. You should see, system is shutting down, in the display. When the screen goes black, the transmitter is now off. Step 4. Remove the batteries. Important. Do not store the transmitter before removing the batteries. Doing so, could cause the used batteries to leak corrosive fluid and destroy the transmitter's circuitry. To remove the batteries, unlatch the battery compartment, and remove the batteries. Please discard the old batteries in a battery recycling bin. Step 5. Clean and disinfect the transmitter. Now clean the transmitter and cables with a non-corrosive disinfectant like this one. After you have cleaned all parts thoroughly, allow the transmitter time to dry before storing. Step 6. Package and store the transmitter. It is a good idea to bag up the transmitter to keep its cables from getting tangled up. This is especially important if you store your transmitters in a desk drawer or cabinet. We suggest packaging the transmitter in a disposable pouch like this one. Pre-packaging, in this way will prepare the transmitter for the next patient it is used on. Now, store the transmitter or return it to an individual or department responsible for your transmitter inventory. I hope you have enjoyed this instructional video. Please visit our website at tritechmonitors.com for more videos like this one. Until then, happy monitoring.